Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Creality 3D Flexible Build Plate. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I actually did purchase this myself. Um, this is, once again, the Creality 3D um, Flexible Build Plate, Metal Build Plate. Um, I purchased it off of Amazon with some of the donations that was sent to me um, from printing um, and giving out for free the um, masks and face shields I've been making for our local hospital. Um, I've been receiving donations and they're helping me fix my printers, buy new parts for my printers to make them better. Um, so that is one thing I did buy this for. Um, once again, it was not sent to me by Creality. I did purchase it off of Amazon. It was about $23, I believe. So um, it's really nice. Now I will be installing this on my TiVo Tarantula Pro. Um, not my brand new Creality CR10S Pro because obviously that print bed is bigger. Now I will be having a review for the Wham Bam flexible build plate that was also um, purchased for donation for that printer. Um, once again to get better build plate um, adhesion and just a better quality print off of it. Um, so there will be a separate rev review for that. And I will also hopefully really soon or before this or after this video there will be a um, me just talking about what I've been doing for my community um, with the face masks and face shields uh, printing. So back to the review, um, what comes in this box, um, it's just a nice thin box, and um, in here we have just a um, padded envelope kind of thing, um, and then that just comes open, and then we have our actual um, product here. So it just comes in this cardboard, and then what we get here is um, our build plate, obviously, and then the, um, the magnetic backing here. It has 3M adhesive on it, which is really nice. That means it will stick very well to the actual um, aluminum print bed. Um, and then we have a PEI sheet, as you can probably see right there. Um, it is PEI. As you can see, it's, it's yellow, so you can see the difference here. And then we have Creality's um, logo down there. Um, now this is really nice, it, it flexes, which is the whole point. Um, so let's get right into the installation. I'll show you guys that really quick. Um, we can level the bed and then hopefully get the first layer down really nice. So starting off, this is our TiVo Tarantula Pro. And as you can see, there's a bunch of gunk on here. Um, and it is not the greatest build plate. It's obviously not grippy at all, like compared to the Creality CR10S Pro over here. That's printing. This is just basically a sleek surface. Um, so I did turn up the heat on my bed to 50 degrees. I'm just going to raise my Z axis a little bit so that we can get under it. Um, and I'm just going to peel it off. As you can see, it's coming off really easy because I did heat it up. And most of the glue should be coming off with it so we don't have to clean it up. There we go. So there is the nice bed. Um, this came off pretty simple. I don't remember fully if when we built this, um, if this came on here or if it came on there already or not. I think it did. But um, yeah, so that is just that piece. You can throw it away, keep it, or do whatever you want with it. So now we're going to add the um, magnetic part to this bed. So just take off your actual metal sheet and try your best not to bend it too much, um, the metal sheet, so you don't actually ruin it. Um, so then we're going to peel away one corner and actually go down here like this so we can get just this part. And then I'm going to line it up to the top and uh, hopefully get it as even as possible and then just slowly move it back trying to get rid of all the air bubbles. So the magnetic part's actually not even close to the size of the actual bed, which might bother some people, but I might just end up leaving it. Okay, so that's as close as I'm going to get. Just try to smooth out everything. There's not really any air bubbles. Get everything smooth, and now we can add 
our sheet on here. So it looks like the actual um, flexible build plate is the same size as the magnetic part. So unfortunately, we did, we did lose a little bit. Um, but other than that, it looks really good. So now I'm going to do a little time lapse of me leveling it and hopefully not ruining the PEI sheet. Okay, so I have it uh, leveled now and I'm going to heat everything up and then start a print and then use the knobs to level it from there. So I believe I got the layer all nice, just a little bump there, uh, but other than that you shouldn't need any glue stick. I bought these jumbo glue sticks for each of my printers, um, the other one's right there. Um, but you shouldn't need it for the PEI sheet, but if you do, you can use it on there and it's super easy to wash off. But um, other than that, just check your first print to make sure there's no um, lift up once it actually starts printing. As you can see, it's starting to print now. Um, but this, just make sure you have a um, outside perimeter print first just to level everything up and make sure everything is sticking nicely. All right, so one thing I did also forget to mention is um, make sure your first layer on your print are always super slow. That also helps with leveling your bed um, with the knobs uh, a lot easier and um, it, it allows your print to stick way better to the bed. And you can also print at a higher temperature for just the first layer. I know I use Simplify 3D, so I can do that super easy in my settings. Um, but other than that, that is it for the review. Uh, I'll let it go, um, but I already can see it's sticking very well. Once again, if it doesn't stick very well for you, it might be your layer height, um, but also you can use a glue stick. I know a lot of people use a glue stick, but PEI should be gripping it way easier, um, and you should get a super nice bottom layer. Okay, hold on a second. This is future me. I forgot to show you guys basically the whole point of this video and the whole point of this actual product. Um, how it works so when it pops off so I'm gonna show you guys that really quick um, and then we can get back to the original video so I'm just gonna pop it off there we go and there there it is and now if it was a harder something harder to get off of I would take it off and then I just flex it um, and then it would just pop off everything else comes off super clean there's no really anything left on here but then you just pop it back on and get it in the middle and that's it. Now we can go back to the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was super quick, but I hope it helped you. Once again, I will leave a link down below in the description to where you can buy this yourself. I believe it was $23. Um, and hopefully I will be coming out before or after this video once again, um, a video on all the things I've been doing during this coronavirus stuff like making face shields and printing masks for my local hospital. And I will also be doing a fantastic review on my CR10S Pro that was very greatly donated um, by one of my softball coaches to help with the production of making masks and face shields. And this printer is ginormous and I can print four masks and four face shields at once on it. Um, it is super awesome and I will be having a couple more reviews, product reviews coming too. But other than that, that's it for this video. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope to see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day.